All right, folks. Today. Is he still here? I don't think he's here. Oh, thank God. All right, folks. Today. What's up, uh, YouTube? It's your boy, Joe Biddy, coming at you with more of those tasty talks. Oh, somebody kill me. Smash that subscribe button, and let's see if we can get this video to 500 million bikes. I love riding bikes. We used to ride our bikes down to the clock store and get get, get some TikToks on the clock for 50 cents. Uh, what? Roll that beautiful talk footage. I've cheated plenty of times in my life, by the way. But I'm a reformed cheater. I've never, I would never do it again. <laughs> so never again? Never again. I mean, maybe. No, I swear to God, I won't. Okay. Everyone deserves a one-time cheat in their relationship or marriage. Just uh, a one-time. I disagree. You do? 100%. Yes. Um, so it's safe to say you're going to cheat again. <laughs> Not when I have a ring on it. What about engaged? You're just engaged. You're engaged for a year. That's a gray zone. Yeah, I know. But once it's marriage, it's done. So actually, get ready for this. She's not totally wrong. Marriage is the actual line between when you are fully monogamous and when you are not. That's the way that it used to work. The real answer there is that if she's cheating all the, all the way along the line, like she's, she's not treating marriage the way I am. So she's cheated a lot. So I wouldn't trust her that once she gets a stone, that that's going to magically change her mindset. So I just went to the library because I refuse to give any money to Jordan Peterson. And I got this, his 12 Rules for Life book. And I'm going to read it so I can critique it and expose him for his bigotry and misogyny. Approximately 10 hours later. Well, I cleaned my room and made my bed. And for some strange reason, I'm craving lobster. <laughs> it's true. It's true. They keep saying that Jordan is all these things and he is not any of those things. You're a feminist. Yeah. What is the difference between a feminist and a knife? The, what sort of a comparison is that? I don't understand. Should I tell you the answer? Yeah. At least a knife has a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's even better when it's not from like a, a, a like white American. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm all in for this. This is the, the Cybertruck thing. Yeah. It is fantastic marketing. And Musk knows how to market. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> the Cybertruck is pulling a Porsche. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I own a Tesla. Let me just tell you, the pickup on that thing is insane. It's insane. We have a Model X and um, we used to play a game on the freeway with the kids where I would say, would you like the car to go boom? And they say, yeah, boom. And that just meant flooring it for like two seconds. And the pickup on that thing is wild. It's wild. Like there's no transition between gears. So just, it, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of machinery. <laughs> Wow. It's like scaling Everest over here. So, eso. Andale, corre. Hijo de su madre, la mira llegó. Oh, human creativity. Ah, oh, that's that's great. Yeah. Certainly we have enough border patrol agents. And so they go out and they need to feed their child mm. and they don't have With money. Shoes. So you maybe have to, you're, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift uh, some bread or go Look at those nutritious sandwiches. Night. Man, look at those nutritious sweatshirts. Delicious, delicious Nikes. Mmm. Women can do all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Now disagree with that. Uh... There are men's jobs and there are women's jobs. I mean, I think we, we all, I mean, we're not saying that that doesn't exist, right? <laughs> but it's just like, if you pull up to a, a garage and you gotta get like an alternator replaced and there's a woman mechanic, hey man, I'm all for, you know, women's rights. I mean, who isn't? But I also want my car to run well. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna discuss some of the most influential women, who you think they are and sort of what gives them that influence. 
Michelle Obama. The Michelle Obama thing, I, 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 she got there because she slept with a man. <laughs> oh my God. This is the Bill Burr thing, right? Like, uh, why are we talking about first ladies? Their, their husband was the president. I understand. Why does why does Michelle Obama have any sort of importance in our culture? It was like Laura Bush, a massive voice in our culture. Like Barbara? Folks, as we head into a presidential election year, one thing you can be sure of, 2024, it's going to be crazy. You can already see the impacts of inflation at the pump, in the grocery store. The dollar continues to lose buying power quicker than wages can increase. So how exactly are you protecting your savings amidst the chaos? You should probably consider diversifying with gold from the Birch Gold Group. For decades, gold has been the choice of investors and central banks to hedge against inflation. Gold can play a role in diversifying your savings, and Birch Gold can help you create a well-thought-out and well-balanced investment strategy. They'll help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold without paying a penny out of pocket. This month only, when you open a gold IRA with Birch Gold, you'll get a free signed copy of my book, The Authoritarian Moment. But you need to text Ben to 989898 to qualify. Birch Gold has been the exclusive gold company of The Daily Wire for the past seven years. I buy my gold from them, and you can too. Text Ben to 989898. Protect your savings and claim your eligibility for a free signed copy of The Authoritarian Moment. Get started with my friends over at Birch Gold today. Diversification has always been a smart strategy. Text Ben to 989898 to get started. And this happened to me too. This, this happened to me. I posted a video for Trump. Right mm -hmm. on my personal social media, and one of our big sponsors called and said, "Take that down." You know what I said? Go f yourself. Yeah. You vote for whoever you want to vote for, and I'll vote for whoever I want to vote for. That's how this works. I don't even care who you're voting for. It's none of my f business. Well, f you. Yeah. Don't ever f call me and tell me who to vote for. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people feel in fear these days. You know, a lot of people feel in fear that if they don't vote for certain people, they're going to lose their jobs. Yeah. I mean, it's Hollywood, for example. Think about how crazy that is. It sounds insane. It sounds yeah. just like. Well, it'll keep happening unless more people stand up for themselves yeah. and give them the you response. And Dana White, he's great. I mean, full disclosure, I'm very friendly with Dana White, and um, this is his MO, and it's why he's awesome. The first day, I had 25 students. By day two, I had 19, because six parents switched out of the class because they saw me, and they were like, there's no freaking way, before I even got a word in. Do I think that it is okay for a parent to see me and go, not around my kid? No, I don't think that's okay. I feel like that's really crossing the line. It's not still quite. the right of the parent to make that decision as to whether or not they want their child to learn from you. Okay. Like, it's still that parent's right. Like, you can disagree with their motivations, their motives, their ideas, Would you say but that it is still their child. Yeah, well, I mean, clearly that is that is the case. And, I mean, everyone knows this. If, if a secular atheist parent walked into a classroom and someone was wearing a giant cross and a nun's habit, then the secular atheist parent might be like, well, no. So like this idea that parents have no say whatsoever because no, we just have to, you are an agent of our child's education, but we have no say in, in who's the agent. So here, that, that would be bad parenting actually. Because physiologically men and women are different, sir. I, okay, there is we... no debate about it. Equality is not about physic. Oh my God, this is so basic. We have to get into it. Okay, when we talk about equality and opportunity, we talk about cerebral opportunity. We are not saying I want to be able to be 200 pounds like a man and beat the <laughs> out of somebody else. We're not saying that. We're saying you get the ability to get the job, to be the CEO, and nobody questions when you're driven at 50 and have three children how you're managing it all. Don't question me. That's what I'm saying. I can be a CEO and a mother. Right. See, this is what feminism used to be. Now feminism is the people who should be questioned are women who choose to be mothers at all, and also men can be women. Uh, this is a creepy, weird lady. Wait, no. You mean that it was called Palestine by the Romans in 136 CE in order to mock the Jews? And that doesn't mean that there was ever a Palestinian state there because you are ignorant and stupid, young lady? For literally decades, Palestinians referred to Jews living in the area because it was called Palestine after the Philistines by the Romans to mock the Jews. But if you don't know history and you're a moron, then you just open a book and you're like, I know things now. I mean, I was pretty clear that she didn't know things just based on the decor of her room over there. Now, tell me exactly what it is you're afraid of. I keep having the same dream. Everywhere I look, people are being replaced. Okay, and who do you think is going to have you replaced? Them, the puppet masters. The last time I had the dream, I was 
I was walking down the school hallway. <laughs> and then I see Butters. And he's like, hey, Eric, you want to see what my mom packed me for lunch? And that's when I start to notice that something's wrong. Everyone I cared about has been systematically replaced. And finally, I want to scream, and I'm like, why are they replacing every single character with someone who is diverse? But then Kenny's like, it's not our fault, it's because of Kathleen Kennedy. But then Kathleen Kennedy's just like, f*** it, make it more lame. And everyone in town is like, no, please, Kathleen Kennedy, stop ruining everything. But Kathleen Kennedy is all like, put another gay diverse woman in it, make it more f***ing lame. And the Disney stock just keeps going down and down and down. And then Bob Iger is all like, eh, no, what's going on with my stars? No, Kathleen Kennedy. That's the actual story of Disney. So that, that's why that's hysterical, because that's exactly what has happened. Kathleen Kennedy is terrible at everything. I look white, dude. I look like I tell my mom to shut up. <laughs> I could never do that. I could never do that. I have a Cuban mom that escaped communism, okay? The only reason I know that is because she told me every morning. So I don't know how you woke up in the morning, but for me, it's good morning, Marcelo. <laughs> have a great day, but just remember, I free you. <laughs> She's a scary woman. In my house, you can't have a bad day. When your mom escapes communism, you can't have a bad day. You get home from school, you're like, Mom, I had a bad day at school. She's like, what happened? What happened that was so bad? <laughs> Did somebody steal your freedom today? I don't understand. Uh, I, I, the expatriates from the communist countries, they are the best. The best people. 